Hello Magical Butterflies, this is Extina with Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope this finds you having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, comments, subscription to the channel, and for viewing my videos. To book a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one session, which is a live reading via Zoom, Reiki Healing Love Program, Twin Flame Coaching Program, Mentorship Program, or Reiki Distance Session, please go to my website, ButterflyIntuition.com, to book the link to my website, my full list of services, and all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube are in the description box below. Welcome to your butterfly message of the day for Monday, May 30th, 2022, or whenever you're watching this, because my readings are intended to be timeless. Today is the new moon in Gemini, so happy new moon. New moons are the reset of the moon cycle, so this is a good day to set intentions, to just get connected to your higher self to be able to really just gain some clarity on things that you would like to manifest in your life. And usually what happens when you set intentions by the next full moon, you are ready to release anything or anyone that is blocking you from achieving these intentions from coming true. So take only what speaks directly to your soul. And what doesn't speak directly to your soul, release it and let it fly. What is the butterfly message of the day for the collective, for the viewer, for Monday, May 30th, 2022, or whenever they're watching this video? What guidance, advice, what do they need to know? Any action steps they may be guided to take in a specific area of life? Or just in general, what is the butterfly message of the day for the collective, for the viewer? We have sensitivity. Number 12, which equals a three. Threes are about the trifecta of mind, body, and spirit. So you may be very sensitive today. And what I'm feeling is if you are experiencing sensitivity, maybe things trigger you a little bit easier than normal, or you're just finding that you just are being repelled by certain things. This sensitivity, this is trying to show you something. It's trying to show you that in order for you to see why you're being triggered is to get grounded and to get stable and you are in need of replenishment. So I feel you just may need to just unplug, detach, pull away, maybe have a day to rest, take a nap, to put yourself first, to not engage around people who are having drama if you just don't wanna be a part of it or maybe you have been a part of it and now you're feeling as if you don't want to. Because you want to see the progress that you're making on your own individual journey. And in order for you to do that, you have to detach from what other people are doing around you. Especially if you're seeing people around you make the same mistake over and over again. I can tell you from personal experience, it's very difficult to watch someone who you love make a mistake when you know that they're in the same pattern and they're pretty much in a hamster wheel just going round and round and round with no intention of getting off that hamster wheel but they have to be able to do that on their own. So get into the energy of grateful. Gratitude. This card is 47, it equals an 11 and 11 is the number of new beginnings. So there's a new beginning that's coming. This new moon in Gemini is bringing you a new beginning there is a transformation occurring and I did channel this quote I can't go back to yesterday because I'm not her anymore so say that I can't go back to yesterday 
because I'm not that person anymore. Who you were in the past is most likely who you are not now. And you can't go back to the way you used to be, the way things used to be, and the way things were. Because if you have evolved, if you have healed, if you have changed, you can't go back in time. There's only moving forward now. And by moving forward, you hydrate yourself. You hydrate yourself in ways of going with the flow, of letting go, of healing, of letting love in. And we're in Gemini season, and the next season after Gemini season is Cancer season. So I feel if you embrace this change during Gemini season throughout the month of June, you're really going to see how things just start moving forward very quickly in the month of July. I do hope today's reading has brought you clarity and guidance on just what the energy is for today, what the message is for today. If this resonated, drop a comment below, claim the message, let me know how it resonated for you, how you're feeling. Like this video, share it with anyone who you feel would like to hear the message in this reading. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Please make sure your bell notification is set so you can be notified when I post new content on this channel. Have a magical day, night or afternoon, and I will talk to you tomorrow.